All right, all right. I know you want to see a battle between shapeshifting and purple people who whip things and all sorts of crazy shit, but first let me talk about Coffee Run, a fun addicting game that you can play anywhere on your phone. Made by my parents, aka Gaggle Games. You play as this cute little coffee cup and you jump and avoid obstacles. It's nice and simple and good way to kill some time, really. One got knocked down, he won't get up again. The other went knocked him down. One got knocked down, and now he's fucking dead. The other went knocked him out. <laughs> But I can't think of two amazing ladies who use this power better than anyone. That, of course, is today's fighters. Shantae, the half-genie hero and guardian of Scuttletown. And Amethyst, the lovable goofball of the Crystal Gems. Oh my god. It's been so freaking long since Shantae's been on my show. God, I love her so much. Such a fun game, she's such an energetic character, and god, she's adorable. But, uh, uh getting back down to Shantae and what she can actually do. Well, she's got quite the wicked magical firepower packed into her arsenal. So Shantae's main form of attacking is whipping her ponytail at high speed. Somehow this doesn't rip her head off from momentum, but hey, it's pretty badass. Shantae can use magic, and while some are standard things like fire, she also has her magical dances in which she can uh, do a belly dance and gain access to multiple abilities and transformations. She can turn into a monkey that has super high uh, jumps and wall climbing abilities, and can even launch herself into a ball of death to dish out major damage while in monkey form. She can also use it as a melee attack while crawling. Shantae can also become a mermaid that has a uh, full maneuverability in the water and can uh, shoot explosive bubbles and whip people with her tail. She also can become an elephant with one of her dances that allows her to move really slow and be really bulky, but she's capable of taking a ridiculous amount of damage and can uh, takes reduced knockback too. She also charge and stomp on her enemies for large sums of damage. With her spider dance, Shantae turns into, well, a large half spider half person thing. But unlike Spider-Man, she can actually climb walls and spit out webs from her butt, and even spit venomous blasts. Shantae also has her Harpy Dance, where she turns into, well, a Harpy. And she very much gains free flight and the ability to use her talons to attack. She also has her Tinker Bat, bat Dance that turns into the form of a common pirate Tinker Bat. And she has the power to smash large uh, blocks and climb walls while in this form, and she even gets a sword to fight with. With the Crab Dance, she turns into, well, a crab. Yeah, this is gonna be real repetitive, I know. She can snap at her foes and hide in her indestructible shell. With her bat dance, this allows her to, uh, Shantae to hover in place and she even see the dark with echolocation. But she also has her mouse dance, which sounds kind of useless, but she turns into this small, adorable blue mouse that allows her to move into very small areas and even bite foes. However, this doesn't do very much damage. She also has her curse dance where she can turn into a tree and she can even create and eat uh, life-restoring fruits by turning into this. With the blobfish dance, she turns into a blobfish and bounces uncontrollably. Why is this useful? Why is this even in her arsenal? Ugh. With the gem, uh, gem jug and healing dance, Shantae can make, uh, constantly shoot out gems or heal herself at the cost of gems. And with the obliterate dance, Shantae causes a large explosion around her while she dances that can do ridiculous amounts of damage and insta-kill non-bossed uh, opponents. She can also shoot fireballs and a stream of fire, manipulate lightning, use a shield, a reflector, uh, and outright turn invincible with her different bubble shields, and now on to her weapons equi and equipment. Shantae can create a sphere of pike balls and swords around her that deal constant damage to her foes. With the Vanish Cream, Shantae can become completely invisible for a short period of time, and with the Twin Mints, she can actually double her attack power temporarily. And then there's the magic bracelets that make her, well, her magic attacks takes, uh, take less magic for her to use. And she's got her flintlock pistol used for range attacks that have infinite ammo and she never has to reload it, which doesn't make sense because a flintlock pistol only holds one shot. She also has a pirate hat that she can use as a makeshift parachute. What kind of cartoon logic is that shit? She also has a pirate sword for melee slashes and she has the risky boots that allow Shantae to pick up ridiculous speeds just by running and she can run across lava and water while doing this and even smash through large boulders. She's got her triple shot cannon that she can use to shoot down at uh, down from the air from down at her enemies from the air, and it can even boost her jump a bit. She also wears an armored bikini to lessen the damage she takes, and she has her wish granting ability where she use, basically she's used it to save Skeletal more than once. However, we don't know the capabilities of this in combat. Now on to her stats. Shantae's strong enough to fight, the, uh, fight and beat the Mermaid Queen, and even a large worm monster that destroyed a very large tower. She's strong enough to, uh, as an elephant so that she can stomp large chunks of steel downwards, and she's even beaten Risky Boots who could survive an island exploding on her. And she fought a large skeleton the size of a town before. Shantae's also incredibly quick as she can dodge gunfire from flintlock guns and cannonballs. And she can even dodge lightning and reflect said cannonballs with her hair. Yeah, Shantae's ridiculously fast. 
She's also super tough, as she's tough enough to survive lightning strikes, cannon shots, falling large distances, being hit by fireballs, and she should be on par with Risky Boots who can survive an island exploding. And Shantae's also rather intelligent. She's saved Scuttletown multiple times, and even the world on a few occasions, but she can be a bit naive at times, which is never good, and she does seem to have a limited amount of magic she can use at one time. Oh hell yes! I can finally talk about my favorite Crystal Gem in a solo match, rather than the team fight she was in, because for some reason I only know how to put her in team fights. So what's this purple goofball capable of, you're probably asking? Well, let me tell you. Amethyst, like the other gems, has the ability to come back to life if she's destroyed, or poof. When poofed, a gem leaves their uh, gem on the ground exposed to damage, where they can be easily shattered or cracked. But Amethyst has shown that she's much, uh, way superior to the other crystal gems in the fact that she can actually come back from being poofed within minutes. This le leaves you a very small window of time to actually kill her. Now, she can also shapeshift and manipulate her size and her body, and her body actually automatically adapts to different types of gravity. She also doesn't need oxygen, plus she can actually ignite her whips in a purple flame. Oh yeah, her whips! She has the power to pull bladed whips out of her gem, and not just, you know, one, she can pull out an infinite amount, although she's only ever seen to have two out at a time. Now, that gem is, uh, it's between her boobs, yeah. She can also roll into a ball of, like, spiky death, like Sonic the Hedgehog's spin dash, and Amethyst, just like the other gems, can bubble opponents in an unbreakable bubble, but it's harder to do this on targets who are still fighting or moving. Alright, that's enough talk about her gem powers and whatnot, let's talk feats. Amethyst is pretty tough, as she's been a uh, shown to be not far behind Garnet, who beat Jasper, who could survive an island-sized explosion. She's capable of beating a living island with the help of Garnet and Pearl, and she was able to somewhat harm Jasper on her own, which is proof that she could at least fight Jasper. Not win, but at least fight. Amethyst is comparable to Pearl, who's been shown to fly starships at high speeds, and she's fought Steven, who's also fought on par with Pearl. They should also be somewhere around Jasper in speed, who's been able to dodge and block attacks from Garnet. Keep in mind, Garnet was able to punch a lightning bolt out of the air. Amethyst can survive hits from Jasper, albeit she was poofed after the beating she took, but she was still able to survive hits from Jasper. And being a gem, she actually has infinite stamina. As for how long it is, well, that depends on if the gem isn't damaged. However, if her gem is damaged by being hit head-on by a strong enough attack, it can crack, leaving her very wounded and in very bad state, where she pretty much can't control her powers. Shattering it completely will kill her outright, being an instant death. Now, Amethyst is a master warrior, but she's the least intelligent of the gems. She's a so-called defect by other invader, uh, invader gems, and she has shown that even someone like Steven, who, while heavily trained, isn't, uh, who isn't even the best of the group, is still able to keep up on par with her. And Amethyst is actually pretty flawed. Enough damage will destroy her body, leaving her gem uh, destroyed. However, she can come back from this, and her shapeshifting does have a time limit. Also, she tends to mess around a lot, even in battle. Not to mention, cracking or destroying her gem can cause horrible, horrible flaws, or can outright kill her if not fixed it quick enough. Alright, our combatants are set. Let's see which purple shapeshifting, whip-wielding lady will come out on top in a fight to the death. Shantae is sent downtown by the mayor to check out a disturbance in the city. When she arrives, she sees Amethyst destroying the city while chasing a large monster. Amethyst jumps up and slashes her whip straight down at the creature, but Shantae runs over and blocks the attack with her bubble shield. Amethyst then lands as Shantae shoots the creature away. Amethyst looks at Shantae angrily as she transforms into a large wrestler and jumps multiple feet in the air before coming crashing down with an elbow drop towards Shantae. As Amethyst falls through the sky, she ignites into a fireball but Shantae dashes back, causing Amethyst to slam to the ground, destroying the buildings around them and creating a huge crater. Shantae whips Amethyst with her hair and hits her in the shoulder, but uh, she puts her finger out and fires a long stream of flames, burning Amethyst. Amethyst rolls into a ball and revs up before launching herself straight at Shantae, hitting her and launching her straight into a tree. As she comes back, Amethyst throws out her whips and wraps it around Shantae. Shantae struggles for a minute as she tries to break free, but Amethyst launches a purple flame straight through the whip, causing a large explosion when it hits Shantae. Shantae stands back up hurt as she starts to dance, turning into a large spider creature as she shoots uh, shoots a huge venom bubble at Amethyst, who dodges to the side only to get webbed up by Shantae. Shantae laughs, she turns into a harpy and flies and slashes Amethyst across the gut. Shantae la uh, lands and transforms into an elephant as she starts charging at Amethyst, who breaks free and transforms into a wrestler and stops her charge and picks her up and spins her and throws her into a building. Shantae draws out her sword as she lands onto the ground and dashes over and does a spinning slash straight towards Amethyst. The slash hits into Amethyst, who recovers from the attack as Shantae pulls out a flintlock pistol and shoots Amethyst in the head, knocking her to the ground. 
As Amethyst tries to stand back up, Shantae jumps up and shoots a cannonball straight down at Amethyst, poofing her, leaving nothing but a gem on the floor. Shantae stands up to walk away, but Amethyst reforms behind her and swings her whip straight at her and wraps it around Shantae's neck. Amethyst then pulls on the whip and rips Shantae's head clean off. Amethyst then continues to search for the creature as Shantae's body falls to the ground, leaving a puddle of blood. Alright, our winner is Amethyst, and this may come as a huge shock to my longtime viewers. So let's start off with strength and durability. So Amethyst should reach about island level thanks to her being the sentient island with her team and be able to actually fight Jasper. While she couldn't beat her, she was able to damage her a little bit. And with her stat boost and training through the rest of the series, by the most recent episodes, she should be around the mid-tier of island. Shantae, on the other hand, is about town to maybe island level due to her beating a huge skeleton monster and even beating Risky Boots who survived the explosion of an island. But because she used magic to beat her, it, we can't necessarily fully scale Shantae to island. As for that planet level feat I mentioned last time, well, it kind of got debunked and there's a whole bunch of iffy stuff and that's why Shantae hasn't been on my show lately. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of crap and stuff went down, so this was kind of an apology match to say, yeah, I done goofed on Shantae's strength. So speed, well, Shantae's dodged lightning and bullets from a flintlock pistol before, which is incredibly impressive, but Amethyst can scale to Pearl who can pilot a sub-relativistic speed sh uh, spaceship. Now I can give Shantae the intelligence edge, but that's really about it, honestly. There's really not much we can do here, because Amethyst has a huge experience edge due to just being, well, thousands of years old. There's also the fact that Amethyst cannot die unless you break her gem, which isn't something that Shantae will know right off the bat. Looks like Shantae took a genuine loss. Ah! I'm sorry, that one was really, really bad. Our winner is Amethyst. Next time on Combo Breaker. You summon and kill. Summon and kill. I fail to see the logic here. That's right, we have a badass matchup between Doom Guy and Dante. First of all, let me thank you all for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this to any friends you know who like versus debates. And, uh, you know, tell me what you think of the next match. Give me your predictions, maybe suggest matches in the comments, and they might happen.